mentioned uh, online dating. So in this edition of Chatelaine, how to fix online dating for women. So a lot of people are online dating. It's pretty much status quo right now. Unfortunately, no one here is, but so many of our <laughs> viewers or are. Unfortunately. Well, I just thought, you know, to get accurate information, Fair it's enough. nice to have people that have been through the experience. So um, what's interesting about the article is that they're saying it's it's sort of been the internet is, is, is kind of sometimes a male-dominated beast, just in terms of women sometimes feeling like they're being preyed upon. Yes. So they want to fix the online dating scene for women to make it more women positive, give women more control, and the article is all about, well, do we really want that? Do we want that kind of control? Anyways, we thought this would be a great jumping off point to talk to our viewers about what they like and what they don't like in terms of what they see online. I have heard a lot of nightmare stories. I'm sure you have as well. Mm -hmm. I've also know people that have gotten married mm -hmm. after online dating, so who knows? This one is off of Facebook. Anne Marie Dunford, turn on dark hair and a nice smile. Turn off cliches like loves cooking and cats. Hope he does not cook cats, lol. <laughs> Shirtless pics and selfies in the mirror, horrible. I do not online date, too many turn offs. Okay, this is from Twitter. Uh, at City Line CA, what turns me off is if they don't talk about family or friends, and what turns me on is if they love animals and don't hunt. I actually don't know that many guys that hunt, do you? My, Michael just got his hunting license. Oh, really? he did? Yeah, but so he got his hunting. Turn off for her. For you. Well, she doesn't he like grew that. up in England. He, 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 in the country. You, you don't know? have to defend it to me, honey. Okay, I'm yeah. just saying she is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's another one. Turn offs, too many selfies and shirtless pics, uh, and someone who can't spell. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I agree. Nice. Turn on. Turn off. Yeah, that's a bad one. Turn on someone who loves animals. You know, like from time to time, we'll get um, people that are criticizing us on social media. If you have bad grammar, I'm not responding. Yeah, okay? Exactly. You have to at least put things in a proper sentence structure for me to at least or respond. Or your and your, you know, a there and there. Come on. It's and it's. Oh my gosh. Okay, on Twitter, sometimes I'll do it if I have to shorten to get the right amount of characters to be able to post something. I get something. it. I sometimes understand. Sometimes I do. You're not illiterate. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trace. You're off the hook. So we thought, wouldn't this be fun if we each wrote um, a dating profile for ourselves? Okay? And I think it's even more fun because none of us are really dating right now. <laughs> well, I love it. It's like living vicariously through single women. Kinda. It's okay. Right? So Sam, I'm gonna get you to read yours mm. first. Yeah, why not? Yours is good. It okay. Really like it. It's really good. Yeah, here's about taking control. Passionate <laughs> about laundry and washing this the floor, this nerdy chocoholic who is not willing to disclose her age enjoys yoga and trips to the health food store for chocolate. If you are Tom Selleck, and only the Tom Selleck who wore those sexy short shorts while starring in Magnum P.I., give me a buzz baby. <laughs> All others need not apply. Awesome. So I had to ask her, I'm like, so that. you're really into Tom Selleck? She's like, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's your guy, big bushy mustache, hairy Since chest. Since I was like eight. So oh all that gosh. is so your mom. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. hairy chest. Oh, this is a good time for you right now. <laughs> Guys with the facial hair, it's a good time for you. I love it. Okay, Carrie, I'm gonna get you to read yours. I wouldn't date me, I'm so paralyzed by this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on Friday night you'll find me catching up with Kimmy Schmidt and all the wine. <laughs> I'm good at mixing a martini, keeping a secret, and working out before I'm fully awake. Uh -huh. I can't do without Instagram, Philip Galanis's social cue column in the New York Times, another pair of shoes, another cookbook, time alone, and the first and last kisses of the day from my kids. Aww. But that's not sexy. <laughs> I mean, you're all very sweet, but... You know what? It depends on what you're looking for. Like, right. I have a very boring profile, but maybe I'm looking for a boring guy. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want Tom Selleck. Okay? That's not what I only want. Tom Selleck. And you only want Tom Selleck. <laughs> you can have him. Okay, Kareen, can you read your profile for us? Absolutely. Let's get to know a little bit more about you. Okay. I have four kids. <laughs> if you are still reading this, there is a small chance that we can have a relationship. <laughs> It's a tough one, huh? It's a tough one. Probably yeah. the more kids, the harder it becomes. <laughs> Isn't that the older? No, you're happy. You're happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Claire, how about you? Oh, gosh. Um, well, Carrie and I had the same strategy. Um, on a Friday night, you'll find me in front of the barbecue with a martini in hand. So since you make a good one, maybe we could talk. <laughs> um, I'm good at driving stick, doing impersonations, and ignoring my laundry. So maybe you and I, we could also have that. Uh, I can't do without pickles, hugs, comfy shoes, time outdoors, paperback books, peanut butter, my physiotherapist. Hey, Adam, love you. 
<laughs> Friday martinis and snuggles with my son. Aren't we just a, oh, a, few, a couple of party girls up in here? <laughs> a physiotherapist, I love it. Snuggling. It is who it is, right? Mm -hmm. He makes my life better. Okay. Well, let's hear it, Tracy. All right, this is mine. If you're looking for a woman who sees the glasses half full with wine and gets giddy <laughs> over a huge bar of chocolate, I'm your girl. <laughs> I have to admit I'm a sucker for organization lists and getting stuff done. At 5.30 a.m. most mornings, you'll find me on a treadmill or heading to the gym. I'm an unabashed fitness fanatic, but don't worry, I don't expect you to be the same way. <laughs> the only thing I love more than breaking a sweat is getting morning hugs from my two scrumptious kids. I'm a great listener, a big reader, and an incredibly loyal soul. One little warning. I spent a good 15 years of my life clubbing, a lot of loud music with only a little clothing. <laughs> Those days are over, except about twice a year when I go on a tear with my girlfriends. But you're cool with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now you know a lot more about that. Thanks for watching the Shadow Edition of City Line. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.